Back when I rebuilt my 275, I mentioned that it's important to use a fuel rated Schrader valve. Which got me to thinking, what would happen if you used a regular tire valve? So let's find out. I've got a package of tire valves, and let's put them in different liquids and see what happens. We'll try kerosene, Coleman fuel, water, and to be somewhat scientific, we'll keep one out as a control. These glass test tubes with their rubber stoppers will keep the liquid from evaporating while the valves soak. I want to give them some time. I don't think the damage will happen right away. I'll admit that I didn't originally intend to let the valves soak for five months, and for much of that time the water sample was frozen, but let's pull them out and see what happened. The test tube introduces visual distortion, but I can already tell that the rubber has swelled on this valve. Up close, the part you want to look at is not the black where the outside of the valve seats into the body, it's the orangey red part where the stopper seals into the valve. Notice how much of it you can see. For comparison, here's the control. Notice how the seal is all hidden away. The kerosene has clearly caused the rubber to swell. The Coleman fuel valve has the same problem, and the rubber has gotten really soft and cuts easily with just my thumbnail. So in use, two things could happen. The rubber could prevent the valve from opening at all, or once the valve had opened, the rubber would be torn away, preventing it from resealing. This would give you either a lantern that wouldn't light, or one that wouldn't turn off. This matches the most common complaints about the 275. They fireball while lighting because the valve leaks when you're pumping it up, and then they won't shut down because of the valve leak. So back to my original question. Do you really need a fuel rated Schrader valve? Absolutely. A regular tire valve and a lantern is just asking for trouble. Do you have a myth you'd like me to test? Put it in the comments below and we'll, maybe we'll try it out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.